Hello, hello! Welcome to this new video. Um, this time I want to show you how to create a captive portal in Cisco Meraki for Wi-Fi network access. So um, the first thing that you need to do, uh, select the SSID that you want to configure the captive portal on, right? So in this case I have the guest SSID. I'm going to go to uh, Edit Settings. Once I'm there, that's going to take me over to the access control settings of the SSID. Uh, in this case, I am going to use a uh, pre-share key password for this, but um, you could use any other type of password encryption. And um, what you would like to do is scroll down to the properties that says splash page. And uh, in this case, I'm going to select click through. And what's going to happen is that before users can continue or browse any um, website or access the internet, they do have to click on the button that allows them to do that. And there's a reason for that, and I'll show that to you in one second. So uh, this is said for this part, of course, if you would like to apply other type of controls and policies, you would do it from here. Um, in this case, I'm going to uh, configure the IP address into NAT mode. Since it is a guest network, I don't want to have that on my, um, I don't want to have it on bridge mode because in that case, I would have to create VLANs for that. And, you know, it's a simple guest network, so there's no reason to go overboard for that. So once I have that information, uh, something else that I would do though, depending on the network configuration that I'm working on, I may or may not enable this option to um, uh, enable mandatory DHCP. Uh, again, that's one of those things that you have to consider whether you want to implement it or not. It is perhaps a sort of a security measure, but hey, you know, it's up to you. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to click on Save Changes. And those are the settings for the SSID, right? And after that, we're going to move on to the splash page. So while that's happening, it is saved. Uh, I'm going to go over to Wireless, then I'm going to go over to Splash Page. And once I'm here, I've noticed that the splash pages that you create are assigned to a specific SSIDs. As you can see, I have the, SSI, the SSID drop down list down here. I make sure that you select the SSID that you want to set up that, that splash page for. As you can imagine, you can have different splash pages for different SSIDs uh, in your configuration. So uh, this is guest. And the, uh, the, the template is pretty simple. It is straightforward. You have two different type of themes. Um, you have modern and fluid. And then you have here that you have your customized uh, welcome message. And you can type whatever you want. Uh, welcome to my free in internet access. Right, then you could say sponsored by or whatever. This is just a text message, whatever you want to type in there. Uh, and this is uh, the user uh, consent. This is what you want to, uh, you know, enable. Right, if you know, it's one of those things. A user user concern, um, especially if you are um, working in a corporate environment, um, you know, sometimes the legal department uh, asks you to specify specific um, consent that users need to um, understand before they continue, and that's where you would include that consent, right? So this is the user consent. Uh, whatever that is, again, um, a lot of time it has to do with legal um, you know, they, they'll they tell you what you should include there. And then uh, you have the option of adding your own logo. So in this case, I'm going to add a logo 
I'm gonna choose my files right I'm gonna come here I'm choose this logo and here it is and then um, you have the option of specifying how long or how often the uh, the splash page behavior the the consent or the uh, acknowledgement of the splash of the splash page is going to happen you could do it every day you could do it half hour an hour you have different settings here now this is usually that you know sometimes you know depending on on the company or, or the type of deployment you may want to do it every every day or every couple of hours depending on on your network configuration uh, you you have an option down here of um, specifying a um, a redirect meaning that when users consent to the um, splash page settings and they click on accept what's going to happen after that the default behavior is for the users to uh, or the browser to open up whichever default page is set up on the browser um, and that's a good function or you could um, include a, a redirect so if you want to redirect the users to a sponsored website or to the company's website you could specify that here just make sure that you use uh, HTTP colon slash slash JD Tech Solutions uh, and you have to use you have to use HTTP because if you use HTTPS uh, the redirect is not gonna understand the request and it's gonna time out so most websites right now uh, are using HTTPS but they do have a uh, redirect meaning that if you visit the website over http they're going to be redirected to the https uh, version of it right so you, you shouldn't have any problem with that and um, you have a preview button here uh, that you, when you click on it it is going to show you what users are going to see as you could see you can see your logo welcome to guest network this is your welcome message and this is the consent message and as you can see here uh, users must uh, accept the consent before they can continue this is the preview it's not it's not going to work but that's what would happen right and uh, once you are satisfied with your settings and configuration you can uh, save the changes and that's that's it uh, i mean that's pretty much it meraki uh, makes it pretty easy to to configure this uh, again the other uh, official theme that you have is fluid and you could select the colors and make more changes to it or you could have your own uh, custom splash page you know again if you're doing some type of events and you would like to capture um, users email for marketing purposes uh, I know there are services and companies that specialize in creating a splash page for that reason so you could uh, capture the emails and they will authenticate the most you know like either typing some type of information or enter the email to consent to your um, internet access uh, settings and, and then you'll have that information so again uh, th thank you for watching this video uh, I hope it was useful to you and uh, if you liked it please just uh, give me a like and the like button and you have a great day bye